is over 600 pounds worth of steel loaded into the back of this Jeep Gladiator, but it could easily be a bed rack, rooftop tent, a deck system, spare fuel, water, and tons of overlanding gear. Forty and a half. That means the rear end of this truck has sagged about two inches. Being that this Jeep is equipped with an AccuAir system, we actually can address that sag simply by pressing a button. But from what I understand, all we need to do is drive this thing at 25 miles an hour and it'll automatically level itself. Let's check it out. So we just got done driving a couple miles at 25 miles or more. Let's see what difference it made. Look at that. About 42, maybe 42 and a quarter. So it may not be exactly the same height that we started at, but it's really close. And of course we could still make fine tune adjustments using the controller. Now, by fine tuning, I am talking about it in regards to permanent weight. Things that you might install on your Jeep. Things like, once again, a bed rack, rooftop tent, or maybe even a deck system. Essentially, really heavy stuff that you wouldn't be taking in and out of your Jeep on a regular basis. For that, all you have to do is set your ride height to where you want it to be. And then, Save it as your default by pressing and holding the setting number two. Once the light stops blinking, you're all set. Just like that. And for those of you who are wondering, I did talk to Acura about coming up a little bit short on a ride height. And they reminded me that the system is intelligent and that it learns from the most common load scenarios. And for us, and this Jeep, that's totally unloaded. In other words, the more we use it, the more we drive this thing, the more it learns and figures things out all on its own. Now, obviously, 600 pounds really isn't a whole lot of weight, especially when you take into consideration that a Gladiator can carry more than double that right from the factory. But the difference is, with the AccuAir system, it can carry all that weight without any rear end sag or compromised ride quality. So how much weight can the AccuAir system carry? Well, the official stance is whatever Jeep states. However, and unofficially, I can tell you that they've tested it for far more weight than that and without any issues. And it should be noted that with the AccuAir system, carrying weight well is more than just a payload in the bed kind of thing. It actually does a great job of holding it up front as well. After installing something like a heavy steel bumper, and adding a winch on top of it, it's not uncommon to see the front end lose as much as an inch in height. And really the only way to fix that is to install a set of coil spacers or changing out the springs with ones that have a heavier spring rate. But again, with the AccuAir system, the only thing you need to do to correct the sag is to drive your Jeep 25 miles an hour or more and it'll automatically level itself back to its default ride height. And because I know that it's coming, this is what the rear end looks like with all the weight out of it. Um, yeah. Fortunately, 
The only thing I need to do to fix this is take this thing for a spin, get to 25 miles an hour or more, and all will be good. Crazy how that works. I hope that we were able to answer a few of the questions that you might have had in regards to the Air suspension system and how well it carries a load. Of course, if we miss something or if there's something more you'd like to learn about or even see, please post up here on our YouTube channel or on wayoflife.com. As always, we'll do our best to address what we can on future videos. Thank you.